guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. My name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you're here. Today is empties. This container is pretty darn full. And yeah, that's why I'm resting my arms on top of it because I finished a lot. I'm a little shocked at how much I finished this past month. So these are all my September empties. Let me know what you have been using up. Let me know if you've tried any of these, what your thoughts are on the products. If you you've tried them or if you haven't is there something that you're curious about let me know down below also if you haven't already subscribed please do consider subscribing and please uh, if you enjoyed this give it a like it really does help out uh, youtubers so much just that little like it helps put us more in the algorithm all right let's get right started we're gonna start with skincare I kind of divided it out because I was I inventory not inventory but I typed it all up goodness I don't know who was honking but I thought it would help a little bit if I divided it up just a little bit. So we'll start with skincare because it was right on the top. First up, I finished a Josie Marin Argan cleansing oil. I panicked for a little bit because I thought that Ulta and Sephora were no longer carrying this, but it looks like they just repackaged and there's, it's not, it didn't pop back up on my loves list because this was on my loves list so that I would always be able to quickly add it to cart. So it didn't pop up as my old love so I put a new love on it I'm hoping it's the same one I have a, a, about half of one that's still left and then I'll have to repurchase but I love this this is my morning cleanser I, I don't know I like a, an oil cleanser in the morning and I just really like this one and I've been buying it literally for years I've gone through so many I go through about two a year uh, so you know this lasts me a good long time then I finished a Vitamin C serum. This is the Sunday Riley CEO. Uh, what is this? 15% vitamin C brightening serum. It's an okay serum. It does smell, it does have a vitamin C type of a scent, a citrusy scent. I do like it. Is it my favorite? Not necessarily, but I probably will repurchase it if I find it on special because that one I found on a, a really good special and that's why I ended up picking it up. I started this box and actually last night, uh, so we're into October at this point, but I finished this last night actually, uh, but I always put these in when I open them because I pull them all out. So these are the Biore nose and face uh, pore strips, and I really like these. I don't use them as often, I feel like, as I used to, but I do use them on my chin and my forehead, not as much on my forehead. My nose occasionally, it's usually my chin, I feel like gets the most and then I've been using I know you're not supposed to but I've been using them occasionally on my cheeks because I do have a lot of sebaceous glands uh, filaments that are like clogged there and I like to pull those out because they they do have a little bit unlike here where they're pretty you know flat they do have like a little texture here so that's what I do I did not like the sunscreen this is the bliss block star invisible daily sunscreen if you like a tinted sunscreen, you will like this, but I do not like that because I don't want it on my skin. Not on my skin. I don't want it to get on my clothes. And usually I'm getting dressed or I'm already dressed and then trying to put my sunscreen on and I don't enjoy that. So not one that I would purchase. Clinique Moisture Surge. This was the cute little uh, limited edition packaging. I don't remember what it was for, but this was a free gift from Ulta. One of those, you know, diamond perks that they were doing every month. This was one of them one month. So I got one and my mom got one. That was before they had a minimum spend. And then they put on that minimum spend and I'm like, oh, well that's annoying. Anyway, uh, we have Kiehl's. This is the powerful uh, st strength line reducing and dark circle diminishing vitamin C eye serum. This is a nice eye cream. I enjoyed it, which is pretty good for Kiehl's. We have a Boccia Chia Seed Moisture Cream. It was just okay. It wasn't something that I would write home about or try to purchase again. Finished a Derma Flash. This is the pre-flash, which you're supposed to use as a cleanser before you use the Derma Flash. Uh, I never, it takes me more than four times to use that up. So it, it's, it's, it's a really thick cleanser. I don't, yeah. Anyway, we have Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser. This is a pretty good cleanser. It was more watery than I remembered it being. This was my mom's uh, birthday gift this year that she didn't use, so I, I used it up. 
and I do enjoy it. I think it's a decent cleanser. Is it my favorite? No, but it does work with a cleansing device. I've been really bad about using cleansing devices since my Clarisonics <laughs> died. Uh, just, I feel like my skin is not as good as when I was using my Clarisonic. And I need to, I need to purchase another one because I have a whole bunch of brush, brush heads that I bought when they were going out. Um, but mine just stopped holding charges. Like would not even hold a single charge and I was charging them all the time. So yeah, that's unfortunately what happened with those. All right, Pure Lease. This was the Blue Lotus Brightening Serum. This was not a love. I've tried a lot from Pure Lease. This was not one that I felt really excited about or really enjoyed using, so not a repurchase. This one was pretty good. This is the Matcha Green Tea Antioxidant Priming Moisturizer. I felt like it was a decent moisturizer. I liked it with wearing it under makeup. So it was decent enough. I, I did like it. I don't know if I necessarily want to go out and purchase it again, but that's where we are. Uh, this is one thing that I don't like. These are the uh, Press Refresh Hydrogel Exfoliating Sheet Mask from Zitsticka. I bought a pack of these when they were 50% off, Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I really don't like these. They leave my face kind of sticky. They um, pill up when you try to put a moisturizer on afterwards. Like, because I let them, you know, dry and everything. I also just don't really like the gel masks. I, I much prefer a cloth sheet mask or whatever that other material is. This one is a biocellulose sheet mask from one Snow Magic. This is supposed to be uh, help with if you've been in the sun or the heat. It was fine. I once again don't like the cellulose uh, more gel type ones. I really like this. This is I really like the Pure Lease. Uh, sheet mask. This is the Matcha Green Tea Antioxidant Sheet Mask. It was really good. I liked this one as well. This is from Esfolio and this was a Hyaluronic Acid with Peach Essence Mask Sheet. I liked that one. Then we have the Creme Shop with Hello Kitty. This is a problem solver sheet mask. It was it was fine. I don't know. If it's not super exciting. I really liked these eye masks from Sephora. This is the caffeine one. Oh my gosh. Really, really liked this. It also smelled like coffee. It was awesome. Don't think they make those anymore. I need to look. Then the Wander Beauty Baggage Gold Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. Those are always really good. I like both of these. Uh, this one has they're slightly smaller in circumference. So if you have something smaller, it's a little nice. But this is the Goo Getter from Zit Sticker, and these are the Peter Thomas Roth Acne Dots. They're both really good. All right, hair care. Um, first up, we have this Monday shampoo and conditioner. These are the Moisture. I picked these up at Costco. I did not like these. I was so annoyed trying to finish these. Also, it was, I still had quite a bit at the bottom that would not come out. Both in the shampoo, which usually isn't the problem. It's usually the conditioner because it's a little too thick, but both of them. So turn them upside down. I had four or five uses out of each one for this actually I had more I think from the conditioner so I'm so glad they're done I felt like the shampoo yes it says I'm for dry damaged hair I felt like the shampoo was not it didn't cleanse enough I left my hair kind of with a film kind of a little greasy even after I washed it so I didn't love that but I felt like the conditioner did nothing it was a very bland conditioner it wasn't moisturizing it wasn't like it didn't felt luxurious or anything so I, I didn't like them for opposite reasons like this one didn't feel clean like which I got with the moisture but this one I felt like didn't condition enough and it's supposed to be for dry damaged hair save your money I, I, I did not like these then we have my hairbrush I'm sad about this it's just cracking I don't know if you can see that but it's cracking and was starting to catch my hair in that so this is a Conair Infinity Pro it's those are the type of hairbrushes I like and so I'm a little bummed about that prep rally prime and prep detangler this is fine um, I just use this as a leave-in and it's it's fine I did not like this this is the Foxy Bay 12 in 1 magic daily leave-in hair mask this was very thick if you have dry hair or more coarse hair I think you will like this but this weighed down my hair made it look greasy on the ends and stuff so um, no matter how little I used or how much I, I hate used it up kind of um, so yes this one's a nice basic one no 
All right, body care, boring. We'll get this out of the way. Uh, Secret Outlast Advanced and Completely Clean. It was a basic deodorant antiperspirant. Um, don't love it, don't hate it, but I like to alternate them because I feel like when it's getting towards the end, I'm feeling like it's not, it doesn't smell as good. Like my body chemistry starts getting used to it or something. Um, we'll save that one. Skin to Mint Raspberry Rain. They have changed the style of the bottles now, so I'm going to keep my caps because I love the this size shaving cream cap to turn bottles over in. Uh, this is my favorite shaving cream, and I'll just get whatever scent is cheapest. But like this, this, it's the perfect size to hold this, and they just hold them upright. They don't tip over as much, so I have a little collection of my shaving cream caps. Uh, this is Sunset Glow by Bath & Body Works. This is Fresh Coconut Sparkling Cherry Seltzer. Dreamy Moonflower and Caramelized Vanilla. It's good. It's not as cherry forward as I wanted it to be. Like you get the cherry, but I feel like all the other stuff kind of overwhelms the cherry in a way. So I was glad to finish up the lotion. I also finished up the Ultimate Hydration Body Cream. And this one was crazy. If you watched my uh, Project Pan update, you will have already seen. Look at how crazy yellow that is. This was the yellowest I've ever seen. So I was glad to get this one out. I don't have any more creams than this, thank goodness. But it's gonna make me look at all my creams before I decide for my next project what I wanna use up. And then I also finished the same scent in the moisturizing body wash. So finished that one. This one did not disintegrate as much as the previous uh, moisturizing body washes that I've had, because I've had that that plastic flake all over my shower in the past. So that was that was a nice surprise. I finished, or I used this Holler and Glow Perfect Petty Sock Mask. One of my friends gave me this for Christmas several years ago, and I finally got around to using it. I feel like I have to plan this very carefully when I'm going to be wearing shoes and socks for a couple weeks. It was a lot of peeling, so it was good in that regard. I thought it faked me out. I didn't think it was going to peel and then it peeled a lot. Then this might be the best soap I've ever gotten from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. This is the Almond Fine Vegetable Soap. I bought this because the soap I brought to dance camp had uh, grit in it. it. It was a lovely soap. I still have some of it, but I was planning to use it for my beauty blender. So I went out and bought this soap and I've loved it for washing my brushes. I've loved it for, um, washing my sponges every day. It's still, I still have some of it left, but this actually should have been a July empty, but I hadn't hauled it yet. So here we go. There you go. It was really good. I don't know what the brand is cause it doesn't really say. I finished a boba milk tea from tree hut shea sugar scrub. It didn't really love the scent of it. So, um, wouldn't get that one again. Also finished a Bath and Body Works. What is this? This is a Sweet Kiwi and Starfruit Exfoliating Beach Body Scrub. This is my favorite formula from Bath and Body Works. The notes are Golden Kiwi, Juicy Starfruit, and Solar Woods. This one was leaking, so that's why it got used up this month. Because it like separates, and if it's not sealed, you'll get coconut like uh, watery oil everywhere. I finished. A hand cream. I'm so excited. This is the Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower from Bath and Body Works. Don't love this scent. I don't know why I bought so much in that scent because it's not a scent I really like. So, but it's gone. One less thing. And then a Look Ma New Hands from True Blue Spot. This one was old, but it worked so good. I really enjoyed it. And um, I wish they'd bring back the True Blue Spot because they had so many good things. So many good things. We're going to bring this case up so I can show you um, the larger items. Home scent. So we have coconut pina colada, the three wick candle. The notes on this are coconut milk, blended pineapple, splash of rum. It smell, smelled so good. I really liked it. It burned pretty well. Um, yeah, there's still wicks, but the wax is now down below the little metal. So I really liked this. It was a lovely like pina colada type scent. I thought it was lovely. I also really liked this one. This is Santorini Coast. The notes on this are creamy coconut, almond blossom, and warm vanilla. I would purchase this one again. It burned a little unevenly, like the wicks at the end, so you could see like the one just kept going. And I think I uh, j uh, jiggled it, and that's why we have that weird thing there. But um, yeah, this one is another really nice one. Then the final candle I finished 
This one didn't burn down quite as much, I feel like. Maybe it's just because I can see it. This one I absolutely love, and I bought, I've bought backups with this one. This is Fall Apple Cider, which is crisp red apple, caramel drizzle, and spiced cider. I know people didn't love this as much, but I got a caramel apple out of it, and that's exactly what I wanted from it. It's a little bit sweeter of an apple. It's not so much like a tart apple, but I really, I really liked it. Then, oh wait, I have one more candle that's a mini. This is my Rituals Imperial Rose Private Collection. This was, it was just fine. I, I didn't love it, I didn't hate it. Um, probably wouldn't purchase Rituals candles. Like, their scents aren't really things that I crave to wear. Honey Crisp Apple from Bath and Body Works Wallflowers. This was really good. I don't know why this other one that I had in here forever, it just never finished like going so this is not Honeycrisp Apple it, it it's currently in my wallflower this is golden Honeycrisp Apple Blossom and fresh sugar cane really like it for the first like week and a half two weeks every time I walked in my room I was like oh this smells so good but now you know you all of the wallflowers I feel like you get about half of uh use like two weeks and then the rest of the time you're just like waiting for the oils to dissipate I finished two pocket backs. Both of these, I love these scents. I wish they would bring these scents back because I, they're so good. So I have Summer Melody, which is like vanilla and cantaloupe. It smells so good. Um, and then we have Among the Clouds, which is vanilla and raspberry. And both really good scents. Enjoyed having those. Oh, I have a car fragrance. This one has been very fragrant in my car. This is Strawberry Snowflakes and, yep been enjoying that one all right soaps I finished cranberry and gala apple which is gala apple tart cranberry and pinch of cinnamon this was more cranberry forward than I was expecting because I felt like the candle was more apple forward I haven't burned it yet though so I'm a little nervous like is it going to be too strong for me is it going to be too cranberry and I'm going to wish it was more apple I mean I do like frosted cranberry so I think we'll be okay but I was expecting it to be a little sweeter then I finished yuzu and white pineapple which is Yuzu Citrus, Tropical Pineapple, and uh, Fresh Starfruit. My friend got me this one. She she and her husband last year for Christmas, they bought me uh, four hand soaps, one for each season. So this was considered the summer one. I think Wild Sands, they were thinking for maybe the spring. I don't know. They, they had a hard time with the spring one. But I have a Autumn and a, a two, so, and Ghoul Friend, which I'm planning to use maybe this month. We'll see. Um, I, I'm using a Slatkin one, which is a huge soap, so we we'll probably won't go through as many soaps. I loved this next one, and I wish they'd bring this back. I have one more of this, and I'm, I'm even just a little sad that I used it now, although it's fine. Like, this one I used by myself. I, I enjoyed it. I savored it. It is Elderflower Gin Fizz, which is bubbly Prosecco, Elderflower Blooms, and Sparkling Blackberries. So good. It's effervescent. I love blackberry as a scent note. Bring this back, Bath and Body Works. This one was so good. I really, really liked that one. Um, as you can see, it's kind of been like September was a mix between summer scents and fall scents because it's it's still like 80 degrees here, <laughs> so it's still hot. Um, and next up, we have Triple Berry Cooler. This one was so good. This is mixed berries, fresh pineapple, and sliced oranges. I wish I could find more of this one to pick up. I would pick up more of this one as well. S really, really good. I just it's sweet but not overly sweet and that citrus and the berries just blend so well this one is very very sweet and i do have extras of this this is sweet strawberry scoop sugared pink strawberries and vanilla bean ice cream it, it that's what it is it's a very sweet strawberry island margarita this is always a nice one this is the only gel i used this month this is fresh squeezed lime and sea salt just refreshing a good summer type set i love the packaging on this one too and some of these I need to fill with vampire blood because I have I've got the carton of vampire blood and I've heard that they start leaking. So I was curious about that and then I started seeing reports of that. So I need, they're going to be decanted into weird things, but we have electric limeade and this is frozen limeade, strawberry swirl and sea salt rim. I didn't realize I had strawberry in it. It smells so good. It smells like uh lime uh shaved ice that's what i get from this is like a lime shaved ice really good i loved all of my soaps this month 
basically is what I'm trying to say. I mean, the Cranberry and Gala Apple is my least favorite. Supplements. I finished a woman's multi from uh, Health by Habit. These taste so good. These have like the best strawberry taste to them. Really love them for that. I'm not going to lie. I also really like the flavor of these. These are the multi collagen type one, two, three, five, and ten gummies. And um, from Nature's Truth, these taste really good. These used to be my favorite till I discovered these other two brands. I don't like the Health by Habit biotin as much as this one though. This is the Hum Hair Sweet Hair. These are biotin gummies and I picked these up at TJ Maxx. These were $7.99. I think these were $5.99. This one didn't have a pack, uh, price on it, but I bought two of them and I was like, you can just ring this one up twice because I'm not going to turn them. So um, yeah, I did pick these up and I do like these, but only if I can get them for $7.99 or less, you know, that, that price range is my limit. Getting to the more exciting things, which is makeup and skincare. So I do have a couple like trash um, that we're gonna talk about first. So I these were in my declutter box and I don't know why because yeah, they, they were dried out. So I have two Marc Jacobs highlighters. I'm sad about these. I have the shade, uh, what shade are you? Navy Noir and Introvert, but they, I'm not gonna put them near my eyes. I have Jaunte, Jaunte Blue which is electric blue. It is, you know, electric. And then the last one is Estilla. This is the Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner and More, which is like a green. So those are all uh, trash. Then I also have this Kylash, which I gave a shot to and did not like, did not stay on my lashes well. The, the brush was fine. It's one of those type of brushes, but nope, that's a, a toss too. And then this is kind of a half toss. Um, this is my NYX Buttermelt Bronzer that I bought this summer, like in May or June. And um, so I have bunk beds. And when I got back, I was laying stuff out on the bunk beds. Um, and the top bunk, especially like laying out all my stuff as I got home and as unpacking before school started. And I put all my makeup up there. And, and then I somehow knocked this off the bed. So it fell like, cause I was trying to break something else. I don't even know what I was doing. Cause yeah, I don't know. Anyway, this fell from an upper bunk onto the floor. And um, yeah, so that happened and it was intact, which was great. I kept it and then Somehow I had it in my cabinet above the sink and I was like, I'm just going to use it. We'll use it up. You know, it's broken, whatever. I dropped it in the sink and it flipped open. Powder went everywhere and the sink was wet because I had been washing my hands. So there's just a I used, I used it, you know, a lot this summer. I used it what was left, but yeah, it's a kind of a half. That is not the first time that has happened to me with the sink. I just sometimes in my cluts and, but yeah, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna. But it was really fun to try to clean that up off of the sink because it looked terrible. <laughs> Especially uh, when I was like trying to wipe it up and it was leaving like smears everywhere. Um, yeah. So uh, I finished an Hourglass Mineral Veil Powder. This one was a nice little travel size. I enjoyed it. Would I purchase it? Probably not because I'm sure it's expensive. Although I haven't found a really good setting powder that I'm really enjoying. So uh, makeup remover wipes from Neutrogena. These are my favorite makeup remover wipes. So got those. I finished this Smashbox primer. This is the Primerizer Plus. Just a little photo finish. It was a fine primer. I don't, I don't know. It was fine. Uh, Beauty Blender was time to switch out. That was the ruby one. Then I have a Tula Brighten Up Smoothing Primer Gel. I did not like this primer. It was weird. It uh, didn't want to like scoop out. It would like, I don't know. I talked about it on my sample Saturday last month in August. My August one? No, no. 
would not purchase that one. But it works fine with my one foundation, but not with my other foundation. I'm trying to find out a balance now of my foundation and powder and stuff because it's a little messy. We're going to finish with fragrance. I have two roller balls that I am going to throw out, um, but I've decanted these into sprayers, so they're technically not finished finished. First up is Skylar. This is Vanilla Sky. This one is a really nice scent, but I hate the, the rollerball on it. So now I have that there. And then I also have Mimic Compound 52 Sweet Strawberry Milk, which I didn't realize was a perfume oil because I was dumb and I didn't read it. I'm not coming across really great today in this video. Um, so this spray is really funky. I thought there was something wrong with the little sprayers I bought off of Amazon, but no, it was me. Um, so now I, I spray the oil on and then I'm like trying to rub it in. Um, but I really like this scent. It's a really good scent. Then I finished a, uh, scent bird. This one is good habit align. I did not like the scent of this one. I don't know. It was kind of clean and I just, I did not like this one, but it is gone. I'm glad it's gone. I finished this decant of I heart juicy couture that I got when I purchased uh, fragrance from Macy's years ago and it's just been kind of sitting here. There's a little bit left in there, but it didn't want to come out. So anyway, maybe I'll spray it on my pant. Nah. Um, finished that one. I'm only counting decants that were made for me, not by me. So like I finished some other ones that I decanted from my personal collection, but I'm not showing those because I haven't finished the bottle. Does that make sense? This one was also from Macy's that was made for my mom and she wasn't using it, so I used it. This is uh, Versace Dylan Purple. I really love the pair. This is a good like work set, I feel like, when it's warmer out. So finished that one. Also finished this little Rituals Tulip and Japanese Yuzu Body Mist. I used it as like a uh, pillow spray, a pajama spray. So used that one up, glad to have it out. Finished Miami Nectar really liked this one plan to purchase a full bottle of this one I, I i really liked it oh this is also refillable that that's good i do i still have my apple one because i bought a full size of apple and if i can refill those that's good um and i also finished my travel spray of victoria secrets teas sugar fleur i bought this in august and I finished it right away. I really, really liked this one. Um, I like the apple, it's like a sweet scent, and yeah, finished that one as well. We are done. Um, so lots, lots of things finished. Some, uh, like five things, six things trash from makeup. Anyway, let me know what you've been finishing. Let me know if you think I'm doing good. If I need to step up my perfumes, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get through some of the travel sprays and my decants and stuff because. It's getting a little overwhelming. Anyway, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for spending some time with me, and I can't wait to talk to you next time.